we have our 600 amp amp clamp down here around the negative battery cables and we need to turn our amp clamp to the on position to make sure we have all the cables inside the amp clamp to measure all the current. We have a secondary ignition lead on a spark plug wire here to provide a sync so we can keep track of which cylinder is which in our waveform. And we put the negative on the battery negative because it's the best ground on the vehicle. Now we'll go over and show you what we did at the fuse block. Here at the fuse block we removed the fuel pump relay and started the vehicle a few times to remove any residual fuel from the system so it couldn't start. To set up our Pico scope, we're going to go up here to channel A and select probe and then we will select our 600 amp current clamp and then for the range we'll select 600 amps and then B will turn on to auto go to B, select our probe put secondary ignition probe positive and for our range we'll select 100 kilovolts for our time scale we're going to do 200 milliseconds per division and then we'll come to the bottom and select a single trigger and this will allow us to capture our waveform without standing at the computer. And then we're going to set our trigger at 180 amps for this vehicle. It just depends on the vehicle that you're working with. And here's the waveform that we captured on this vehicle. As you can see, our trigger right over here captured our waveform when we finally surpassed its amount. And then every lump here in the waveform is a compression stroke for a cylinder and so we can see all the different cylinders here in this wave. The spike here and this one here represent the sink that we had on that spark plug wire so if we had a low spot in any of these cylinders we'd be able to count the firing order and actually know which cylinder had the low spot rather than just trying to guess where it is.